Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. Today's video is gonna be a quick tutorial on, to show you how to add ROMs to your existing RetroPie. Now, this is gonna be very quick, simple, to the point. It's not gonna be very detailed. It isn't for those that are trying to do a complete build out. This is if you already have a RetroPie and you just simply wanna add games. So first of all, you wanna go ahead and get your IP address. We're gonna do this across Wi-Fi. So you're gonna to have to have this connected to your Wi-Fi. So if you don't have that, let's go ahead and do that first. You wanna scroll over to the RetroPie menu within your console. Also, you can avoid this if you have it plugged in directly through an ethernet cord. This is if we're just strictly going over Wi-Fi. In your menu options at the very bottom, you're gonna see an option for Wi-Fi. Scroll down to that and click into the Wi-Fi. Once inside the Wi-Fi menu option, it's gonna look like a doll space screen. Go ahead and click connect to Wi-Fi. Here you wanna go ahead and plug in your Wi-Fi settings. You wanna use a USB-based keyboard, just simply plug it into your RetroPie and you should be good to go. Now that you have your RetroPie hooked up to your Wi-Fi, simply back out of this and stay on the RetroPie menu option and scroll up to show IP address and select that option. Here at the very top of your screen, you're gonna see your IP address. It's gonna say your IP address is whatever the numbers are, write that down. You're going to have to use this to move your ROMs over. So make sure you jot this down. Okay, now that you got the IP address and we're ready to go ahead and grab the ROMs, you can use various sites, but one of the popular sites that I like to go to is gonna be the muparadise.me. Once again, that's muparadise.me. Check the link in the description. Take a look at the area on the left hand side. It's going to say featured sections. It's going to say ROM, ISOs, and games. You want to go ahead and click there. On the next menu here, if you scroll down, you'll see a list of arcade systems, consoles, computers, handhelds. This is where you're going to grab all your ROMs. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use arcade systems. So I'm going to go ahead and select the main ROMs that are located directly under arcade systems. Side note, for instance, if you wanna get uh, Sega games, Nintendo games, PlayStation, they're all gonna be located directly under consoles. If you wanna get Game Boy Advance, Game Gear, those are gonna be under handhelds and etc. Under the main option, you're gonna have several choices to choose from. You can list all titles, which are gonna be sorted by ratings or sorted by downloads, meaning how many users downloaded it. So it's gonna basically base off of popularity. Or you'll see the list alphabetized at the top also with a numeric value at the beginning so you can just simply whatever game you want to find if you want it let's say simpsons for example we would just simply select the s and scroll to find a simpsons game okay now here's the game i was looking for the simpsons bowling now the game is actually called simpsons bowling now take this under consideration you may search for a game you may not see it because it's going to be under the actual name so of course simpsons is really the simpsons so you would have to do your search oh. under t but in this case the game was called Simpsons Bowling. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and get to the next screen. On the next screen, simply scroll down, usually below the ads that are in the center, there's going to be an area that says direct download links. You'll see a link at the top. It's going to have a zip file. That's the one you want to go ahead and download. Click that file. I'm sorry. After you click that file, it's going to take you to another area. And then you have to scroll down one more time and it's going to say direct download again. And you want to go ahead and click that file. Now go ahead and click OK to save it to your computer. Usually by default, default is going to save under your downloads folder or you may have it set specific to a different folder just remember where you saved it or where your default save files go to okay after the download is done go ahead and open that window now i like to open two windows so go ahead and open the window with your download in it you'll see like for my example here i have the simpsons bowling file and then i have another window that i opened up on the right hand side this is going to be the window that's going to link to my retro pie so open it up exactly like this it's going to simplify the process so go ahead and do that and let's continue on. In the extra window that you open, you wanna go ahead and type in your IP address. And that's gonna be the IP address for your RetroPie that you got earlier that you wrote down. So you wanna start off in this window. It's important, you wanna do this in Explorer. You don't wanna open up one of your browsers. You don't do it in Chrome, you don't do it in Firefox. No to Internet Explorer. You wanna do this in Windows Explorer only. So open up an extra folder like this under my computer and just simply type backslash backslash whatever that IP address is and hit enter. So in my particular situation, it's gonna be backslash backslash 10.0.0.58. That's the IP address to my RetroPie and hit enter. Okay, great. This is pretty much the hard part. That's already done. So if you got this far, everything else should be downhill from here. Go ahead and click the ROMs folder. This is gonna be where all of your ROMs are located under the console names. 
And yes, folks, it's that easy. You're simply going to grab your ROM from the folder that's right next to it. You're going to drag and drop it directly into the main Libretro folder. Voila. Wait for the file to fully transfer. Should only take a couple seconds there. And now go back to your RetroPie. Once at your RetroPie, before you can see the game show up in your console, in this particular illustration, it's going to be in the main folder. But we want to go ahead and restart the console first. So go ahead and hit start on your controller and scroll down to quit. Under the quit menu at the very top, you're going to see restart emulation station. Click that and click yes. And once again, for this particular illustration, we loaded a main game. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the main folder as shown in the picture here. Once I select, I'm gonna scroll down to find my game. Actually, there's so many games in here. I'm just gonna do a search and find my game. And there we have it, folks, Simpsons Bowling. Gonna go ahead and click it and play. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, peace.